Simulation updates in Logic World have two primary steps. One, the components need to calculate the state of their outputs based on the state of their inputs. Two, the inputs need to calculate their state based on the state of any outputs they're connected to. Right now I'm in an older version of Logic World. Here the inputs update their state first, and then the components update their output states. I've got the simulation slowed down to one tick per second so we can really see what's going on. This update order leaves us with some awkward kind of in-between states, where we have inputs that look like they really should be on, because they're connected to an output that's on, but they're still off because we're waiting for them to update. Now contrast this behavior with the latest dev version of the game. Here I've switched things around. First the components update their output states, then the inputs update their states, and then the tick ends and we can view the simulation at that point in time. In my opinion, this looks way nicer. None of the inputs look out of place. This is all very normal and logical and easy to understand at a glance. This is a very specific scenario I'm showing you, but I think the new update order looks better everywhere. It's much more intuitive, and I think it will really help folks to understand how circuits behave in the game.